Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add tags to your SharePoint files and document libraries. If you enjoy SharePoint Teams, Power Automate, and PowerOps videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. All right, so to add tags to your SharePoint files, so I'm in my marketing SharePoint right now. I'm just gonna to navigate to documents and I've actually set up a folder that I will be working in. So I'm in my marketing documents. And here I just have users. So, so for my use case, I'm just gonna have users submit their files and uh, keep me updated on the progress for that. So as you can see, there's nothing to identify what progress these files are in. And so if you see this add column feature, then you have the right permissions to add the tags. If you don't see this add column here, then you'll need a higher permission status to add the tags. So let's go ahead and click on add column. As you can see, you have a few options here. It's kind of like a SharePoint list. You can add um, some data along with these files. I think the best choice here is the choice field. So I wanna use the choice field here. I'll click on next. And this will allow us to give a nice looking tag to assign to these files. So for my name, I'm just going to do status. You can name it whatever you want, whatever your use case is. But in my case, I just want to know the status of these files. So let's go ahead and add some choices down here. So I want to do new, in progress, delayed, completed, and we'll do canceled too. Why not? All right. And so it automatically assigns some bubbles here. And you can actually turn this off if you don't like it, but I think it's a good little feature. It helps you identify the files. And default value, uh, I'll leave that at none. But if you wanna have it, so where a new file drops in, you can do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click on save down here. As you can see, we have a new row populated here called status. So let's just go ahead and assign some statuses to these files. So to do this, I just wanna click on the file, edit in grid view. And so as you can see here, we can actually assign some tags for these files. So I have multi-select turned off here. So you can only assign one down here. So let's go ahead and exit grid view. It's making the changes. So as you can see, we have um, some tags assigned to these SharePoint files. And if a user wants to go in and change these, they're able to with the uh, correct permissions. And also if you wanna add more, there's more columns available here if you just don't want modified and modified by. If you go to column settings, show hide columns. They actually have a bunch of metadata you can do here. Um, modify and modify by are pretty useful. I also like to add created here and created by. So if you want more data, you're able to do that. If not, you can turn that off by going back in the settings, show hide columns. And it just this helps make um, this helps make your files folders look a lot more presentable. And you can actually filter by down here. If you have a ton of files, you can actually group by them. So if you wanna see all the files in delayed, you're able to do that. And this is nice in Power Automate because with this status field, you can actually filter it by that. All right, I'm in Power Automate. So let me just create an, actually, let me do an, let me do an Insta Cloud Flow. It's, I don't need an automated Cloud Flow. Manually trigger a flow. All right. So let's say I just wanted to get a few files from that folder, but I only want the files that have a status of delayed. So you can go ahead, get properties or get files. Properties only. And so if I enter in the site address, marketing, library name, documents, I wanna limit the entries to this folder. And the folder is my marketing documents. So as you can see with this filter by query, if I do status, so it's gonna look at that status column, EQ means equal. If I say this to delayed, it's only gonna pull those files in the delayed uh, status. So it's useful for not only managing your SharePoint document libraries, but if you wanna take this even further in Power Automate, you're able to do that. So let me just run this really quick. As you can see, I have two files here, April and Jim's, that are in the delayed status. So get files. Let me download the output. So the output's a little messy. Um, it didn't give me the, uh, the nice little preview, but we have April's file here. 
Let me see if I can find Jim. And as you can see, we have Jim's file here. So it looks like it only pulled those two files, and that's because of the filter we added on the get files. So that'll be a quick little video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments or you need help with something. And I will catch you in the next one.